with Ted Koppel. And we're going to go immediately to another one of our guests here in the uh, auditorium. Yes, go ahead, please. I can't see you, so yes, go ahead, ma'am. Mr. Rye, you didn't tell us in the movie how the Soviet Union took over the United States. I could envision a scenario where the um, Soviet Union perfected their strategic defense initiative before the United States did and was then able to blackmail the United States into, into a surrender. Did you consider anything like that? Uh, no, I didn't, uh, because that wasn't the point of the film. Uh, the point of the film has more to do with a, uh, the sense of a country which is united and uh, strong economically, educationally, uh, and in terms of the cohesion of uh, the goals of its people than a, uh, than a defense system. Defense systems, in terms of this film, what this film is saying, are external to the true uh, defense of a country, which is the people themselves and their sense of what the country is about, what their purposes are, and what they perceive the goal of the country to be. It's kind of, it's kind of a huge omission, though. I mean, why did you leave it out? Why not, uh, because I mean, there's a, there's a book version of this that you put out, and there you kind of give passing reference to what, the explosion of a few nuclear devices that knock out the, uh, the uh, communication system in the United States mm -hmm. altogether. But why, why not begin with some kind of explanation as to how this came about? You sort of leave everyone with the impression that America just kind of collapsed. How, let me, can I take a shot? Sure. <laughs> right. Um, there are two movies, Ted. You, this is a movie, and without reiterate going, being redundant, it's a movie that deals with what happens after they're already here. That's what we were interested in. We were not particularly interested in how they got there. That is in itself a whole nother idea. What happens when you begin to question about how they got there is you open a scenario that is absolutely mammoth. I mean, Donald did do, I think, something, something like a 175 page outline about how they got there because he had to know, and in a sense, the characters did. But that was not the intent of this movie. The intent of this movie was to say, how do Americans behave. What do you do when they're here? What kind of person are you going to be? Are you going to be like Peter Bradford? Are you going to be like Herb Lester? Are you going to be like Chris Christopherson? What kind of decisions are you in the audience going to make about yourselves in this kind of a situation? All right, let me stop you right there and let me go to Gene Kirkpatrick. You spoke of this a moment ago as being kind